This video is part of a new section we're doing to inform you about what is the best hardware and software for you. Whether you're a VFX professional, enthusiast, or just addicted to Netflix, we will try and show you what you can save money on and where to spend it, and also try to discover the cream of the crop in what seems to be an ever more confusingly big marketplace. Firstly, we need to understand the difference between a HDMI splitter and a HDMI switch. A splitter will take the input signal, for example, your computer, and split it into multiple outputs enabling you to show the same image on various screens. A switch allows you to have various inputs, for example your computer and your games console going to one output, enabling you to switch between the two without having to plug and unplug any cables. Secondly, we need to understand what HDCP is. High bandwidth digital content protection was designed by Intel to prevent digital information, audio or video, from being copied as it travels from the source of the content, be that your Apple TV, or Android TV box, Blu-ray player or games console through display ports, digital visual interfaces or HDMI cables to your screen or monitor. How it works is that your output device sends a message down the line saying something like I'm HDCP compliant, are you? Here's my ID. If your equipment is HDCP compliant, it responds with its own key and everything is fine. However, older screens, monitors or devices that aren't HDCP compliant will cause error messages or simply a black screen to appear. But but don't worry, your equipment isn't obsolete, all you need is a HDMI splitter that is HDCP compliant on the input side, because the output side completely ignores HDCP. So with that in mind, here are the top 5 HDMI splitters that bypass HDCP. And you can find the links to all of these in this video's description. Just a quick disclaimer before we begin, we neither support nor endorse piracy or copyright infringement. This video is simply to solve the problems occurring with older equipment and HDCP, and avoid the forced obsolescence that HDCP has as instigated in non-HDP compliant equipment. View HD U9 2 port HDMI splitter. If you just want a cheap HDMI splitter that supports 1080p, is highly portable and solves your HDCP issues, then this is exactly what this splitter does. No less and no more either. Kellyo 1 in 4 out HDMI splitter. At $17.99, the Kellyo is one of the cheapest four output splitters out there. The input cable can be up to 40 foot long and the output can be up to 60 foot without any loss of quality. However, there have been some reports of having difficulties when connecting to projectors. So if your setup has a projector, it's probably wiser to pick a different splitter. It has a sturdy design and supports full HD 1080p and 3D resolutions and 4K, but only at 30 Hz. ZetaGuard 4K 1x2 HDMI Splitter If you're looking for a cheap way to solve your HDCP problem or to display the same content on two screens, then this is the device for you. Its clever internal design dispels heat through the side vents, keeping the device cool. Although it copes very well with 1080p, being the only HDMI 1.4 and only supporting up to 4K at 30Hz, you may experience some limitations if you want to output at 4K. So if 4K is a must for you, we suggest buying a different splitter. Ore UHDS 102 Splitter. This splitter supports 18 gigabits per second with bandwidth and video resolutions up to 4K at 60 Hz and very little lag between input and output. In addition to the input port and two output ports, it also has an EDID switch that automatically detects the best resolution for the monitor you have connected. Ore HDS 102 Splitter. This splitter is extremely popular and is almost always selling out. It supports 4K up to 30Hz and has two outputs and even comes with an EDIT switch. Not only is this one of the most reliable splitters on the market, but it also is one of the cheapest. Please let us know if you enjoyed this section and if you did, be sure to let us know in the comments which hardware or software you'd like to see us review next.